up guys? It's me. It's the week 17 of my new art. It's the week 17 of my new artwork every week for a year challenge. So I've been making art on Microsoft Paint for some time now and every single time I make an artwork there is some guy saying that's not real Microsoft Paint, this is the real Microsoft Paint. And I'm here like... Ah oh, shit, here we go again. So to put the matter to the rest, let's try to create something that at least resembles art on the real Microsoft Paint. Now, before I talk more about painting on the old Microsoft Paint, I just quickly want to give you an overview about what I'm actually painting. I wanted to paint an original piece that would be something relatively easy to paint because I haven't painted on this program for over 15 years. So I tried to summon my inner Bob Ross and started with a nature landscape with a lot of what you could call happy accidents. I wasn't 100% sure what I wanted the final painting to look like, so I just started sketching and praying that it would actually work. My idea was to have a sort of peaceful sunset scene that would hopefully at least slightly suit the anxiety I got from painting with this godforsaken painting program. And about that, if you were born within the past 20 years or so, you might be blissfully unaware of this version of Microsoft Paint that originally came out when I was about the size of an oversized bowling ball back in 1996. Now the reason why painting with this thing is an absolute nightmare is that it comes with a very limited set of tools. The most annoying part is that it has absolutely no brushes that could control the transparency which makes blending colors about as enjoyable as walking on Legos would be. That's because when selecting colors you have to adjust both the values and the hues manually to get smooth transitions between different colors. So what this means is that every single color you see on the canvas is manually picked by me. This actually turned out to be a pretty effective way to practice color theory if that is something you need to do because you have to think about how colors actually blend together. Now the only problem with this of course is that you actually have to think which is something that I am just not a big fan of myself. Anyway, that being said, painting would be much easier if you were to paint using just a monochromatic scale like using only black and white, because in that case you would only have to adjust the values between light and shadow. However, another thing that I'm not a big fan of is painting without colors, so I decided to go all in and soak the full Microsoft Paint experience. And that was definitely a mistake, because to be honest, I hated every single moment of it. So if you enjoy watching people suffer, I can tell you that you are watching the right video. So the least you could do is to at least click that like button. So about three and a half hours of painting, and this is where we're currently at. Now, if I were to rate this painting on a scale from 1 to 10 right now, I would say it's uh, pretty trash, but not like the dirty trash, more like if someone put some flowers in a trash bin, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I have ideas on where to go next with it, but first I feel like it needs a little bit of cleaning up to do, because a lot of the lines are really messy and there are still rogue pixels all over the place, so let's start by cleaning this up real quick. Now this will probably take me a while and also be pretty boring for you guys to look at, so let's just do some video editing magic and get it over with, and then we can continue with the fun stuff. Now the part that took about 20 seconds just now actually took me almost two hours, so video magic. Now the painting is starting to look a bit better, but I feel like it's still just a bit boring and needs a little bit of fun sprinkled in. But luckily I feel like I got just the right idea, so let's continue and finish this painting. As soon as I started working on the details of the painting, I ran into a couple pretty interesting problems. See, the thing is that this version of Microsoft Paint comes with a rather limited set of options when it comes to things like how much you can zoom in or how big you want your brush size to be, 
So considering the level of detail I was hoping to get on this piece, I ran into this dilemma that either I zoom in very close and work with the pencil tool, at which point it becomes really difficult to estimate the proportions of my artwork, or I don't zoom in as much, which on the other hand makes it really difficult to make accurate movements with the pencil tool. So I tried to do something in between and create the overall shapes with the bigger brush and then zoom in to work on the details using the pencil tool. Things like this do really make me wonder though if anyone at Microsoft actually tried to paint on this thing before they released it back in the day. Anyway, what you see me do here is work pixel by pixel with the pencil tool. If I were to go through this whole painting this way, it would have probably taken me a decade to finish this piece, which I consider slightly suboptimal for my weekly uploading schedule. However, if you'd like to see me try a proper pixel art piece, let me know in the comments. Or if you have any other video ideas or art challenges, make sure to let me know. Now, regarding this painting, I started by painting a guy in a boat and then moved on to add this robot-like creature in the background. A bit like in the style of the paintings that Christian Young likes to do, so shout out to Christian for inspiration if you're watching this. If you want to pretend like there is some sort of deeper meaning in this painting, maybe it's a metaphor about YouTube. I'm the little guy in the boat trying to get a couple views with these silly videos, and the robot dude in the background is like Mr. Beast. Basically, we are sharing the same pond, but not quite the same means to the end, I guess. Anyway, check out the video description for links to my Discord and my Microsoft Paint tutorial, and subscribe for weekly art videos if that's something that you enjoy watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of me experimenting on the old Microsoft Paint. I don't think I will be doing this one again anytime soon, though. And that being said, here is the final painting for this week, I guess we can call it Gun Fishing. <laughs>